Hey guys, today we're unboxing and setting up the Inkbird thermostat. This is a very good thermostat and it's relatively inexpensive for only $46. So you have instruction pamphlet, how to win a free ink bird, and the actual unit itself. As you can see, everything is actually all in one. The probe is already hooked up and is replaceable, which is a feature that I love about these thermostats. And it does heating and cooling so you can hook up a fan and a heater at the same time so if you wanted to convert a room into an incubator or if you wanted to have a self-controlled habitat this handles everything for you the thing is is that this only cost me forty five dollars in comparison to everything else on the market where the cheapest that i've seen is anywhere from a hundred to three hundred dollars this itself handles up to 1200 watts so it can handle everything in my reptile room with no issues at all the number one question i get when i recommend the ink bird is you know it's so cheap why risk it why waste your money and to tell you the truth for 46 dollars this is a very good unit for a hundred dollars this is a very good unit these specific thermostats are used for for like hydroponics and home brewing so they are very very detailed and very very accurate in their measurements and their output so when buying electrical items what you're looking for is one of three things you're looking for either ul listing ce listing or fcc listing this tells you that the product is certified and if there's any type of fires or anything like that, you're covered by the company. Not only that, is your insurance won't be volanoid. If you have home insurance and you're putting in, say, heat tape that is not UL or CE listed, then what ends up happening is that if they find out that the fire or anything was caused by this particular item, you lose your insurance. So this is a very important aspect. Also, it's the same thing with heat mats. So this particular heat mat is an unbranded uh, heat mat that I got off of Amazon that's 16 watts. It's very low usage, but it provides enough heat for what I need. What you're specifically looking for these as well is either the UL listing or the CE listing. As long as you have this, you're safe. Of course, there's always instances where something can happen, but just make sure when you're buying electrical products, this is what you're looking for. Don't look at the price. Yes, okay, price sometimes is a good indicator if a, of a product's quality. However, in this instance, the only way to tell if a product is good or not with electronics is if it has these certifications. Okay, so to set up your new unit, all you're going to need to do is plug it in. When it plugs in, there's an error on this one specifically. Uh, that's why there's a beep. There's actually a warning on these thermostats that lets you know if it's too high, too low, or if there's a probe error. Because I unplugged my probe, that's why it's giving me this error right now. However, for now, all I'm trying to do is find a mounting location for this. And I have a 17-month-old that will touch any button that she can find, so I'm going to have to put this higher up. Alright, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip tie this in place here. Okay, next what you're going to do is plug into the heating side. Because I'm controlling multiple heat mats with this controller, I'm going to be plugging in a power bar. And this is okay because this particular unit is okay up until 1200 watts. So as long as you're within that range, you should have no issues. Okay, next you're going to want to hook up your probe. Now this is all dependent on which cage you want to be your particular one. If you're using this for a rack, 
use one of your bins as the tester. Just keep it empty just to make sure that the temperature is consistent. What I'm going to do is use my Lichianus cage as the tester. See, what I like to do is I get a suction cup to hold the wire in place, but also I use a dab of hot glue to hold the probe in place. Once it cools down, it won't actually affect the probe at all, but this way it keeps the probe right on the glass, so it's measuring the temperature properly. Next, all you need to do is run your thermostat, your probe cable. So what I do is I just use zip ties. It makes it the easiest way to work with it. This way they're all in one. Because this only needs a bit, I curl it up and hide it behind the controller uh, so that it's not in the way and it doesn't look messy. And then I zip tie the wires together, just like that. Now, once you plug it in, it's instant. So as you can see, the set value is 25, which I'm going to increase, and the current value is 27.7. Nothing is plugged in right now, no heat mats, no nothing. Uh, so that's actually the older temperature from my old thermostat, which I'm no longer using. So here is my first heat mat. Now that doesn't look good specifically because it you need to cut trim your cables. Never leave your cable ties like this. It looks like shit. So just trim the ends. So, what you want to do to program this is press set and hold it for 10 seconds. It'll start flashing. Move the temperature to where you want it. 27.7 is 82 Fahrenheit, which is what I want mine set to. Press and hold this for 3 seconds. And now it's set. So it's that easy. Now the thermostat is set and you're good to go. Another good thing about this thermostat is it allows you to set the differential. So if you press and hold and you go and you press set once more time, this is the heating differential. So this is saying that it allows the heat to go two degrees above or two degrees below. Also, if you have cooling option on this particular thermostat, you have a cooling differential as well. There's an alarm value too, which I don't want it anywhere near 120. So if my heat mats ever get anywhere near the amount I set here, then the actual unit will alarm as well. I also have the thermometer within the cage, which will alert me on my phone if I'm away. And I have a cutoff switch where I can turn everything off on this. This is actually set for plants out of the box as well as home brewing, but um, your animals, you don't want your alarm value to be at 120 degrees Celsius. Your animals would have cooked by then, so keep it near where you want it. I'm going to keep mine at 30 degrees Celsius, so it doesn't really, or 31 degrees Celsius, so it doesn't go too hot to a point where I don't know if they'll survive. This is also for cooling. It's the low value if it ever reaches below a set point, which I'm actually going to set as well because I don't want it going below 22 degrees Celsius. Remember to press and hold for three seconds to set it. As you can see, everything's already reached temperature, and we're good to go. And there you have it. We unboxed and set up the Inkbird thermostat. Now, if you like this product, please find a link to it in the description. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like down below, and comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks.